hi fam welcome to my channel and to today's video so today we're gonna be doing a leave-in conditioner and this time around i used rice water as my major ingredient for this um leave-in if this is something that you're interested in do stay tuned and let's head right into the video yeah. so to begin with i measure about 70 grams of rice um, into my container and then I pour about 150 grams of water onto my rice and this I mix and then leave it for about 18 hours um, some people prefer to leave it overnight but I, I will leave it over 18 hours and then this is what I have so the next thing that i'm going to be doing is that um i'm going to blend the rice mixed with the water um ideally people like to just strain the water or even boil it but um this is also another way that i um used to do my rice water leaving conditioner so after blending it this is what i have so it has this milky um color and i make sure that i pour everything in and because it's not fully blended well um i have to um strain it and i'm using my i'm using my strainer and this is the smaller very very small one so that i don't get a particles um getting back into the into the device water yeah so after i am done straining everything you just want to make sure that um you don't leave out any liquid you strain every little little thing and so after that i go ahead to um strain it again but this time around i'm using a cloth now this is to get the very tiny um particles that might get into um the rice water out of it because it might leave some white substances um in your leaving conditioner if you um, use it like that without uh straining with the cloth so after i'm done this is what i have my rice water is ready to be used so i go ahead to begin with the um the preparation of the leave-in conditioner and i have here my btms which is part of um, the ingredients i'm going to be using i also have my cetyl alcohol my e was steric acid penetrating oil mix collagen powder my herbal extract shea butter and then my liquid gemmar plus preservatives so this is basically what i'm going to be using so to begin with the water phase i go ahead to measure about um 70 um grams of the of the rice water and then i add my extracts now the exact measurements of these will be in the description so that um if you want to prepare um the same you can do so and then i go ahead to add my collagen powder which is about 0 0.5 gram and then what i do is just mix everything up so my water phase is done and then we go to the oil phase now this i'm going to be adding my waxes and my oils here and i go ahead to add my btms about three grams of my btms and then my e wax which is also about three grams and then my cetyl alcohol 
the, all these are added to help stabilize it and also uh, mix the oil phase and the water phase um, together now i also have here my stearic acid which i'm adding about one gram and then i'll go ahead with my penetrating oil mix this is a mixture of olive oil coconut oil sunflower oil and all that so i also have here my shea butter and i'm adding about three grams of my shea butter in to this and because this is a living conditioner usually the water phase have has to be more about 70 percent and then your oil phase would be like um less than i mean less than 20 percent just um to get hold of it so the next thing i do is to put the water phase and the oil phase into my water bath just to get the oil face all the waxes and to melt and then after leaving it for some time this is what i have the oil phase and the water phase are ready and they are all of the same temperature and so i just move it out and then transfer the oil phase into the water phase now this has to be the same temperature like i said and then i go ahead with my hand mixer to mix everything now you want to make sure that immediately you pour it you just mix it up now um because it is warm it's gonna be liquid for a while and so i'm gonna put it down to cool down a bit and as it cools down it will thicken up so i just mix it again just for you to see you can you can mix it till it thickens up but i'm gonna be leaving it for some time and then i'll get back to see how much it has thickened up after i left it so this is actually how it is very milky and trust me it smells like rice water mm, everything in there yeah so after about an hour this is what i have you can see that it looks quite thicker than initially and so i'm going to be adding my preservative and it is cool it is cool cooler or cool for me to add my preservative so i'm adding just a little of my liquid jamal plus and then i just mix the preservative um, into the leave-in conditioner so this is the leave-in conditioner it is quite lightweight but that is how a leave-in conditioner is supposed to be and guys this really smells like um rice water and let me tell you about um the reason why i use rice water for this now rice water is one of the main ingredients and it contains ingredients that acts as shield to protect your hair from damage now it contains amino acids that strengthens hair increases hair volume and nourishes your strands to help you grow a healthy natural hair so that's it guys what do you think about this um leave-in conditioner um just let me know in, in the comment section if you'll be trying it on your hair or if you've tried something like this and i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching up to this point i really appreciate it and i hope this video was helpful to you as well so until next week it's bye for now